and use whatever you got for the benefit of the patient. Not for your benefit, but for the benefit. You cannot turn away a patient because you don't have certain things. You need to see and look at what do I have? How can I make this procedure success? When the person sees a nurse, she must say a person that is going to help him or her. First thing that you do, you wash your hands. And then you start preparing. Get your apron. You put on your mask. Why you put on your mask with all this protective clothing? This is an infectious room procedure. Therefore, you have, have protective clothing. And then you need to prepare what you're going to use for the procedure. You need to have two mucus extractors and two suction tubes. A nasal swab. A nebulizer. And this is a spacer and a mask. You need to have your Ventolin. Also hypertonic solution. We keep it in the fridge because it must stay in the fridge. That I'll be using and I'm connecting on the oxygen cylinder. This is a spacer and a mask. And then you connect it. Use. But also you need you need a tube, suck the tubing for the suction machine that I'll be using. You need a box of gloves, surgically clean, you don't need sterile gloves for the procedure. After when you finish draping yourself with the mask and the apron, you put on the gloves before you set your things. When you've got all these things ready, you prepare a solution for an applier. You need a 5 mil syringe and a needle, whether it's green or the size of it doesn't matter. Then you withdraw the medication, the diabetonic solution. This is 2 mil. It can be less, but we just need to, if a patient coughs, we stop immediately and then you start the procedure. And then we put the solution on the nebulizer. Using the same syringe, you withdraw namalcaline or sterile water, whatever you've got. It suffice. About one meal, okay. This we use to put in the nose so that because sometimes the nose become, nostrils become dry. So we must make, make them moist and let the mucus become loose. I've got everything that I need. The only thing that I need is my client. Okay, mama. What are we going to do now, Mama? We're going to take the sputum. We take the sputum in three sets. Two at a time, we take the mucus first, and then the sputum from the lab. And we do that at a time, when we do that at times, they bleed because there are those small capillaries that are in the nostrils. They move around. It's not painful, but it's very much uncomfortable. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to give some puffs on this, two puffs, 10 minutes in between, and then counting in between, 10 minutes, 10 counting in between, of the live ventolin, and then I'm going to give him this, put this in the nose, to moisten the mucous membrane, then I'll give him the nebulizer for a few minutes. If he coughs, you must let me know so that I can stop and do the 
and do the sputum medic. But if he doesn't come, we'll finish the nebulizer then. We'll start doing the sputum. Okay? Now, let's start. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you've got biocide and water, you can put in the biocide and water overnight and then you rinse it and you dry it and reuse it. But with this one, when you finish, we throw it away. It's cut. Then you put your nebulizer. I, I cook too. I cook too, my boy. I cook too. I cook too. You cook? You cook? Pulls up to the banana. I cook too. We use a red lining bean because everything that is used on the child needs to go there because it's infection. I think we've done with the nebulizer. With my then you've got your. When you cut the structure, you take off the primary. Firstly, before you start, you check properly closed. And also your fittings. Because this most of the time they suck air. So I normally cut them here. So that this fits properly. Okay, boy. You have your paper towel and your specimen container. Take your sputums. You use DGM. Just to disinfect them before you put them in the plastic bag. 